We have a unique phenomena turning an arm near Anchorage. It's called a bore tide. It's a phenomena that occurs here because we have a kind of a special shaped inlet. There are only two inlets in all of North America that are shaped like this. The Bay of Fundy in Nova Scotia and Turning an Arm, right just south of town. And we have a shallow, narrow, and long inlet. And because it's so shallow, narrow, and long, it's just the right length to create kind of a, a sloshing effect of the tides. Well, all tides we know come in for six hours and then they go out for six hours. Well, this is such a long inlet that the tide that's going out collides with the surge of the new tide that's coming in, and that creates a surf wave. And this surf wave starts working its way up, turning an arm. It could be anywhere from a foot to six feet high, and it's very visible from the shore, and people like to go out and watch it. I think it's a, a very interesting phenomenon. It works its way up, turning an arm, and you can leapfrog it with your car. You can get ahead of it and watch it come by and do this over and over, all the way from Beluga Point all the way up to Portage. There are a couple of favorite places I have between Bird Point and Girdwood. There's a little stretch of road in there where the boar tide is almost always at its best. There are people with surfboards and surf kayaks that like to go out and challenge themselves to see if they can ride this wave. The only thing is, if they miss the wave, they're going to have to wait another 24 hours before they get another good tide to ride. So it's one-shot wave. Now you might want to know, how do I know how to time this boar tide? Well, there's a schedule of tides. You can get it in a regular tide table, and we have it on a brochure here at the Public Land Information Center. And it will tell you when low tide and anchorage is. And our brochure will also tell you how much time after low tide you should go to these various places along Turning an Arm to watch the boar tide.